Hey, what's up? I'm here, the Traveling Tarot. Hey there, Virgo. It is M, the Traveling Tarot, with what you can expect within the next few weeks, okay? Uh, this can resonate from now all the way through about mid-June. So you should start seeing evidence of the things that resonate with you um, the second you realize they, that they resonate with you because the second you bring awareness to something, that's when you do begin to attract because it is our focus that is creating our reality, okay? So I'm going to start by just cleansing the energy and then I'll go ahead and start with some core energies and then we'll jump right into in the tarot, okay? I hope that you guys have been doing very, very well. I know that everyone is um, psyched and we're gearing up for summer and there's going to be some really wonderful changes globally, um, you know, perceptually, uh, what is it, perceptionally, <laughs> perspectively, thank you, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, so I hope that you guys are working on, working on just staying focused and staying positive and sort of realizing that what you are focused on is what is creating your reality. Okay, so the first thing that you guys can expect to feel is going to be something in your situation that is going to become fair and balanced, okay, with the keeper of scales. Okay, this is basically like the justice card in the tarot. So something is going to come out with fairness and with balance, okay? So if you have, and it's beautiful because it actually came out with this Sacred Union card and the Sacred Union card came out with this. So this partnership, romantic or business or, you know, even with your vision, okay? Because it really is a partnership in terms of like you guys having to believe in each other. Your vision always believes in you, but you have to believe in your vision. You know what I'm saying? And so Spirit is saying, whatever this partnership that's going to come in is going to come out in a fair and balanced way. And you're going to feel the connection to it because it does show up again with this sacred union card. So, excuse me, we also have the Lady of the Mirror showing up. So there's going to be some reflection and non-judgmental reflection that is going to be happening for you. That is probably what is going to bring in the balance and the fairness. Because the second you take the judgment away from something, you're looking at it for what it really is. And it really does kind of uh, dissipate or sort of desensitize um, your perception of it. Thank you, Spirit, for that. What other information can I give Virgo watching this video in regards to what they can expect within the next few weeks, Spirit? Okay, so the Dragon's Duel. It looks like, for those of you, and this may not resonate for everyone, but in some way we are dealing with some type of internal stuff a lot of the time. So um, internal conflict is going to be, you know, addressed. OK, because, yes, the, you guys might be experiencing some of that now. However, this card also brings in conscious choice. So your awareness to your uh, inner conflict is going to give you that um, leverage to be able to make the decision, make the conscious choice to release that inner conflict. So do not be afraid um of the inner conflict that's showing up because your awareness to it is making it lose its momentum, okay? So just hang in there with that, okay? We also have the Shadow Queen showing up who is about acquiring knowledge. So that shows how the, you're going to lose momentum in that inner conflict because the more light you shine on something, the more it loses its power over you, if you will, okay? Because it's all in your head, mostly. <laughs> Not mostly, always. It's all in your head. If you think you're going to get something, you're going to get it that way, okay? We are living with our focus, 
our belief system, and our expectancy, okay? We are getting exactly what we imagine, and that is not a lie no matter what, okay? <laughs> um, so we also have, um, with the Shadow Queen show up, we do have some insecurities and some manipulation. So that makes sense for her to come out with this inner conflict, okay? So this also shows me that um, while you may be feeling manipulated in some way by other people, this is showing me that a lot of this is, has to do with some insecurities that you are experiencing within yourself. Um, and again, this showing up with that inner conflict does confirm that. Thank you, Spirit, for making that much clearer. But we do have the desert print showing up, okay, with survival and false promises, okay? So you guys are feeling like you're in survival mode right now, but Spirit came through opening up the read to let you know that while you may be guarded in some way because of your shadow self that you've been doing, the shadow work that you've been doing, the inner conflict that you are aware of, so you are getting momentum on driving that back and, and, and dialing that back, um, survival mode comes in with the Desert Prince. But Spirit wants you to know that there's a sacred union that you're coming into with someone else, but most importantly with yourself. Okay, that is going to be fair and balanced. Okay, so just keep doing the shadow work. If it, it look, it may sting a little bit, and sometimes it does. But Spirit wants you to know that doing that work is going to ultimately bring you to the sacred union that you're seeking. Okay, I'm just pulling one more of these cards. Um, so we do have, yeah, exactly. We have the well watcher showing up just to confirm what I just said. Keep on doing the work, okay? Even if it stings just a little bit. The more you cling to spirit, the less... It... I'm not fully sure what that noise is, so I hope that you guys can still hear me, but... Um... Hang on, let me just double check that everything's cool. <laughs> Sorry about that, Virgo. I guess that was my neighbor's incredibly loud car, which I thought something was wrong with my dishwasher and my garbage disposal, so... That's why I freaked out just a little bit. But um, anyways, uh, so the well watcher um, is showing up that the wisdom and power of the, of the divine will be surrounding you to help you see, first of all, help you deal with this inner conflict, okay, and whatever uh, insecurities that are bringing you that inner conflict, but it's going to guide you to the sacred union with yourself and others that is going to bring in the balance and fairness that you're seeking in your life, okay? So don't worry about what you're living right now. The best thing that you can do is surrender to all of it so that you don't, so that you're not um, offering resistance you don't have to do anything. You just have to not stop it from doing it, <laughs> okay? Because it's always doing it unless you're standing in front of it. The second you step step aside, it flows, okay? Just like water. And we do have the winged wise ones. So they want you to know that there is angel's help, okay? There is miraculous aid all around you. Feel around for what, you're, what you want to live, okay? My beautiful Virgo, because... This partnership that's coming in, um, that's going to bring some balance into your life, is definitely going to be fair. It's going to give you the wisdom and the power of the, you're going to see that you do hold the power of the divine, okay? This guilt feeling that you've been living um, or feeling is only keeping you in a stagnant energy, okay? It's that inner conflict that we were talking about. It's only that guilt feeling, feeling is the, the guilt that someone maybe have made you feel or for some reason you are holding on to is due to that insecurity, okay? The more you cling to spirit, the more you cling to the wisdom and the power of the divine, you will see the fairness and the balance in that situation, okay? Whatever it is, if it involves another person, it is definitely not about them. It is about what you are exuding because if you were vibrating at a certain frequency that was higher, that sort of stuff would very rarely even enter into your field of vision, okay? Because those frequencies cannot stand. But the the, the weird thing that shows up, and it's not that weird, but 
it makes sense is that we have some type of disharmony that has caused you guys to feel guilty, okay? Something is triggering you guys to the point where it's giving you that inner conflict, which we have showing up again, okay? Now, don't kick yourself in the ass. Life sometimes makes you feel insecure, okay? I've come out of such a, a, a period where I spent a lot of time, most of my life insecure, and I'm really now just starting to get confident and I definitely have a certain knowing because of that stuff that I lived okay so again it might sting a little bit but spirit wants you to know that it's absolutely worth it to get to the fairness and balance that you're seeking okay so please hang in there Virgo life really is a beautiful thing it's your perception of what you're living that makes it good or bad and whether or not you live more of it Okay, I promise you that. So just hang in there. Spirit, I'm just looking for one or two cards. Okay, so you flip this one over. Yeah, so separation and longing. And this <laughs> this has to everything to do with what you might be feeling guilty about. Okay, it's, it, it could be someone that has been making you feel guilty. Someone that you've been longing for. Maybe unrequited love. Even... um in business, something that you don't feel that you can actually accomplish, but you really want to because your spirit is telling you that you can, but because you can't see beyond your current situation, you might be feeling um, a little bit of self-sabotage going on, okay? Because with that guilt comes sabotage, and um, you might be doing that even without realizing that that's what's going on, okay? So I'm giving you nothing but love and hugs and just letting you know that it is worth it. No matter what comes through, it is worth it. Cry, kick, scream on your own. No, don't hurt anybody, obviously. That's not what I'm saying, but get it out. Let those feelings flow through you so that you can get them out of you, so that you can get to your true purpose here, okay? Because Spirit wants you to know that as you release that stuff, the sacred union that you're seeking with yourself comes into view and then everything else falls into place you get that wisdom you, you get that power you get that power of the divine that you're seeking and it's confirmed excuse me with the self-love card okay you are creating here okay set the intention to release this guilt and the sabotaging that you're doing to yourself okay and as you become more confident more connected with the divine then you see here that your insecurities will start to dissipate. You'll be able to fear, feel the balance coming back into your life, okay? And you'll be able to feel good again, okay? Not that you feel bad because feeling better is very nice, but you want to be happy. And, that's, and there is a way to get to that point, okay? And this is the way to do it is by just trusting. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. You guys might have, you know, something that you have to say. I'm getting a little bit of, you know, coffee here. Probably this incense going on, but maybe it has something to do with your throat chakra. So um, the beautiful thing is, is as I was shuffling and choking a couple of seconds ago, as I was saying, this is what you can do. Spirit flipped this card over to let you know that it's about releasing and surrendering and purging. Okay. It is releasing these guilt self-sabotaging feelings that you've allowed yourself to accept okay no longer separate yourself from your spirit because your spirit is not looking at you that way it doesn't see any of this lack okay but it is us that turns away from that spirit so it feels like it's leaving us but it isn't it's us turning away but the beautiful thing is, is we can always just turn right back around anytime we want by setting that intention because we are creating a reality and our, how much we love ourselves is absolutely creating a reality can i give them something else spirit that might be super helpful for them i know that surrender has been a running theme in lots of, in all of the reads that i've been doing lately because it is going to take letting go to create what you truly want okay um, and, and that's beautiful because let me just show you the bottom of the deck. Okay. We have Pluto showing up with a transformation. Okay. This is what happens as you surrender 
there, Virgo. And as you surrender, you are attracting Mars energy and it's coming in hot, okay? And it's what you want. It's what you want. It's this seek it's this sacred union that you're seeking, okay? And this could be with another person. This could be all of it, okay? This could be you finally it finally just clicks into place and then everything that you want flows because it is not over here, over here, over here, over here. It is all over here. <laughs> so the second you start going this way, it all just comes as it's supposed to, okay? So spirit wants you to know that you are in a transformational period. So just be gentle with yourself. It's okay because this is the shadow work that you are doing that is going to help you release those inner conflicts as well as the insecurities and the things that are making you feel separated from who you truly are, okay? So that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the tarot and see if we can further define what other things that we can expect, okay? So within the next few weeks, we just said there's going to be some type of fairness or balance coming in that's going to help in some type of sacred union with another, with yourself, with yourself first, and with another in a partnership, in a business, in some way, it's going to, or just like I said, to your vision. Um, so expect that fair and balance, that, that fairness and that balance to come in as you release your old patterns of thought, any guilt or self-sabotage or inner conflict that you're experiencing, as you release that stuff and allow yourself to purge your, your new wisdom and the power of the divine begin to attract in a powerful, in a powerful, powerful way. Okay, Virgo, so wonderful, wonderful things coming. Death card showing up out of the gate, okay? We had that show up with that transformation card, which I believe was at the bottom of the deck, at the bottom of one of these decks. But yeah, we had transformation showing up. So death, the death of this old self, of this inner conflict, of these insecurities is coming. And as you release that, you are getting that balance that you're seeking because all you need to do is surrender and just say, Spirit, you know where all I want is. I'm going to trust that you're guiding me there and you're just going to feel around for it because that's the easiest way to live life. And you're going to be surprised at how easy it is. Yes. Oh. And as I'm saying that, and this is what's so crazy that it's not even crazy. Like I said, I got to stop calling it crazy because it just blows my mind how perfect these cards are in conjunction with what we're talking about here. I just said, this is how you're going to create exactly what you want. Okay. Use your magic here. Use everything you have. You are infinite. You are infinite, okay? The magician uses everything to create. And the magician is about power, skill, concentration, action. And the, magi the magician is resourceful. The, the, the magician can make things appear out of nowhere. And that's the energy that's coming in for you guys as you guys release and you surrender, okay? That is so beautiful. And as you get clear on what you want, okay, you are going to need to take some action and some swift action, maybe even take some risks, okay? But be communicative about what you're doing or just, you know, be clear about how you communicate with others, how you communicate what you want to the universe and how you use this magician energy, okay? But most importantly, you don't have to try to create anything, but do what you can to surrender and release this guilt or this sabotage that you've been living, okay? Because it's just no longer serving you any, any anymore, and it may have felt like it was protecting you in some way, but in, in reality, it's keeping you from the motion forward that you truly want, Virgo, okay? So hang in there, nothing but love, and I'm so excited because the truth is, is I have my rising in Virgo, so this helps me know that even more fairness and balance is coming in, and what I've been feeling for myself is true as well, okay? Now we have the Four of Pentacles showing up, which can indicate holding on tightly, so some of you guys are really, really holding on to this guilt, okay? Some of you guys have been holding on, separating yourself from who you truly are. Spirit is saying it is okay to release it, okay? But in that same vein, as you create 
what you want and release, you are now also receiving multiple sources of income, okay? Money's coming in from everywhere. That's one of the reasons I do like this card. It can indicate that, yes, I'm holding on too tightly to something, but also as I'm releasing and allowing multiple sources of income are going to be coming in that I'm going to be able to share and use, okay? I'm going to have some control. It's going to bring in stability and security as well, okay? So just know that as you surrender, you are going to, you are going to get, you are going to um, be creating with spirit. You'll know exactly what to do. You'll realize that there isn't really anything for you to do except focus and release, okay? And step out on faith with the full, okay? So there's just going to be a new beginning coming in. The full represents innocence, opportunity, being free-spirited, and beginnings, okay? This is a beginning of a new cycle because you are releasing these insecurities that you've probably lived for some time now. And I just shuffled and the full wanted to come out again, okay? So spirit, excuse me, spirit wants you to know that this is pivotal to the motion forward, okay? Stepping out on faith. This needs to be actually included into the read, okay? And we see these one and two. I mean, these cards go right next to each other here, okay? You step out on faith and you create exactly, you use your resources and you realize your resourcefulness to create exactly what you want, okay? And all you want to do is release, any type of self-sabotage or guilt that you've been doing, okay? Because your higher self is calling, okay? Do it without judgment and just answer the call, okay? Judgment, rebirth, inner calling, absolution, okay? You are coming to the end of these old feelings and the, and the beginning of a new beginning, okay, Virgo? That is... That is pretty spectacular, okay? Look, we all have inner conflict, okay? But the beautiful thing is it's showing me, especially with it coming out first, is Spirit is saying, yeah, this is, you know, you guys might be dealing with this inner conflict and these insecurities, but guess what? This is getting ready to be fair and balanced, okay? Any of those things that you've been living before are now about to be fair and balanced, bringing you to the sacred union with yourself and with others that you've been seeking. Can I get another card for the beautiful Virgo watching this? And I guess I didn't say this, but it's anyone with Virgo placements or anyone who has been guided to find this video. And I see that this is the Ten of Cups right here. <laughs> yeah, Virgo, you guys are on the right track. This goes right in line with the sacred unit. This is absolute emotional fulfillment, okay? Let me put this so that I can put this up for maybe you guys a screenshot because this is absolute perfection. This is what we're seeking, okay? This is abundance in every way, and not just financially, but emotional abundance. You have the love. You have the perfect sacred union. This is absolute beauty right here, okay? And you're headed to this with fairness and balance coming in as you step out on faith and create it the way you want it, okay? Create it the way you want it. Use the resources that you've been given and release any of these things that are keeping you separated from spirit, okay? Just surrender. Release guilt. Release sabotage. You know, surrender. Purge yourself from longing and, and separation, okay? Because that is lackful energy that is only going to keep you in more lack, okay? Have patience, you guys have a lot of, of major arcana showing up in this read, actually. So this is going to be some, there are going to be some big changes coming through within, the, within these next three to four weeks. So start looking out for this, okay? Especially as you truly release whatever you've let hold you back, okay? And not saying that in a condescending way, saying that to, to bring in awareness to the fact that you chose and you get to choose again as often as you'd like, okay, Virgo? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and just leave it there because that's just such the perfect ending is that all it's going to take is balance. And I mean, all it's going to take is um, the balance, which is what temperance represents, is going to bring patience and it's bringing you to that Ten of Cups, okay? We've got balance, moderation, patience, purpose, and meaning. So you guys are really going to be seeing 
evidence of this in your day, in your day, the second you start feeling around for it, okay? Let me get you one angel abundance card and one um, self-care self card. Release jealousy. Release jealousy, okay? That is a definitely repelling energy, okay? It says jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something, okay? We are, we are creating with our perception and since spirit knows it's done, we must find a way to know it's done or not think about it until we can believe that it's a true thing. And that's how we get to it, okay? Uh, jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. It is always yes to the universe. So whatever you say, be mindful of that, okay? Because the universe agrees with you whether you think you're an idiot or you think you're a total rock star, okay? The universe just says yes. It's impartial. It's agreeing with you. It's giving you what you want so that it can understand itself in relationship to all things. Okay. Um, let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. Okay, Virgo, that is such a wonderful, wonderful way. And show gratitude. Okay, show gratitude. That's a wonderful way to release any type of feelings that might come up that are not appreciation and praise, okay? If you want abundance in your life, even of love, of money, of whatever, you have to praise abundance, okay? And you have to see it as a wonderful thing because the universe and God are everything is abundant. It's about abundance, okay? But Spirit is saying, get some rest, okay? That's how you surrender. Surrender and get some rest to go hand in hand with each other, okay? So this is how you're going to take care of yourself so that you can let in this new energy that's coming in that's bringing you to absolute emotional fulfillment, okay? Thank you so much for spending time with me. I really hope this resonates, okay? So if you have, you know, if it does, please like, share, sub subscribe. If you want to go ahead and leave some type of comments down there so that we can have some interaction, I'd really love that. I love getting to do this for you. It really means so much to me. I'm truly, truly grateful. Take care of each other. I love you. Peace.